In this tutorial, we will learn how to perform advanced simulation on this simple bracket. At first, let's see the dimension for this part. Length of bracket is 100 from inside and height is 50 from inside and thickness is 5. And here radius is 5, outer radius is 10. And at the center, a rib is created of 5 thickness. To start the simulation, click on start. Click on advanced simulation. If we check the roles, I am using this advanced role. Therefore, it is showing the tools in small size. I will go back to this simulation navigator. Then right click on this bracket and click on this new FEM and simulation. Now it will create three files. First is FEM file, simulation file and idealized part file. This idealized part file is created specific for simulation. That means if you make any modification into this idealized part file, it will not be updated in the original part. In that way, it will be separate from the original part. And if you make any changes in the original part, those will be updated in this idealized part. Then here, we will select solver as NX Nastron and analysis type as structural. Then click on OK. Then here you can give name to the solution. I will keep solution 1 as it is. Solver is an Nastron. Analysis type is structural and solution type is static 101 single constraint. The meaning of this single constraint is same constraint will be applied to sub cases also. Then click on OK. Now if we click on this window, we can see that it has created three more files one is sim ipart and fem in your case if this simulation file view is not visible suppose i will click on this bar so it will become invisible to show it back you will have to click on this bar then it will show it back then first step will be to create the mesh for this part to create the mesh for this part we will have to switch to fem model to switch to fem model you will have to right click on this bracket fem and click on this make display part then to create the mesh click here on 3d tetrahedral mesh then select the bodies select this part then select the type there are two types of tetrahedral mesh one is tetra 4 and tetra 10 now this is tetra 4 that is it contains four nodes it is a linear type of element then tetra 10 is quadratic that means it contains four node at four corners plus node at middle of each line and this is 20 node cubic it is not used in nx so we will use here this tetra 10 c tetra 10 element type then you will have to define the element size you can also decide this element size by clicking on this automatic element size now it is showing me 9.78 mm from here you can change the unit also suppose i want element size to be 2.5 your accuracy of simulation will depend on this element size smaller the element size more accurate will be the result but the smaller the element size it will take more time for solving the simulation then click on ok then give it some time for creating the mesh now here we can zoom it mesh has been created we can check that whether there is some problem in this mesh to check it click on this button here finite element model check Select the element shape and click on this list field elements and click on OK. You can scroll back here, it is showing number of field is 0 and here also 
everything is fine that means this mesh is useful for simulation there is no problem the next step will be to apply the constraint to apply the constraint we will have to switch back to simulation model for that right click here and select make display part so it will switch to simulation model and it will activate this constraint type if you are in other model this constraint type will be shown in gray color then click on this constraint type we will use this fix constraint and we want to fix this surface click on this surface and click on ok it will fix that surface for simulation then want to add load here for that here is the load load type click on it and i want to add the force click on force and i want to apply it on this surface for that here automatically polygonal face is selected if not selected click here and select it and select this surface i want to apply force on this surface then give the force magnitude from here you can choose the unit for the force i want it in newton suppose i want it 500 newton then we will have to define the direction of the force for that click on this specify vector now our force direction will be opposite to this zc we want to go down click here and select minus zc so direction will be downward then click on ok constraint is applied force is applied the next case will be to solve this solution scroll down here and right click on this solution one and click on solve and click on ok ok it has given an error we can check what is the error scroll down here ok no material associated we forgot to apply the material ok we will apply the material for application of material we will go back to frame model right click on this frame model and click make display part then click on this plus before the 3d collectors then right click on this solid one and click on edit then this solid property click on this edit here then click on this choose material and from here we will select steel scroll down select the steel ok then click on ok click on ok then again go back to simulation model you can also go back from here click on window and click on this same model that it will go back to simulation then right click on solution 1 and click on solve and click on ok now it is solving it it will show this solution monitor then it will show this analysis job monitor and this NX Nestron version 8 this windows will be displayed and here it has shown that it is completed then click on cancel close close this window to view the results right click on this result and click on open it will switch to post processing navigator then click on this plus before the solution one double click on this displacement here it is showing displacement of 0.0122 mm here it is showing the unit and it is showing maximum displacement and if you want to watch the animation of this displacement you can click here on play button it will show the animation of the displacement and if you want to watch the animation with respective original part then click on this edit post view and click on this show undefined model click ok again click on play it will show the model also and it will show the deformation but this deformation is shown very exaggerated by applying the scale if you want to change that scale again click on this edit post view 
then click on this deformation result and here is scale of 10 is applied suppose I will apply the scale of 1 apply ok and ok then again click on display it will show small amount of deformation we'll stop from here now here displacement is only 0.01 mm and if we check the trace double click on this trace here here is the trace is 12 MPa and if we compare it with the yield strength of the model check the what is the yield strength of that material go back to FEM model and from here select this manage material now here steel is activated click on steel then scroll down and click on this eye icon here display material properties and if we scroll down here we can check what is the yield strength suppose we will take the temperature of 20 for the temperature of 20 1 lakh 37 thousand 895 kilopascal and if we convert it into megapascal that means 137.89 megapascal that is the yield strength we will close it close and if we check the stress here it is just 12.71 megapascal that is it is much below the yield strength that means this solution is ok and suppose if I want to check this for higher load then for that you will have to go back to this simulation navigator and activate this sim model right click on it and make display part then here I only want to create one more solution for higher load just click on this minus sign here before the solution then right click on the solution one and click on this clone it will copy this solution below then click here and again click here to edit it we will give it name solution 2 then we want to increase the load click on this plus here and double click on this force 1 and suppose here we will take a load of 2000 newton ok then again right click on this solution 2 and click on this solve and click on ok so it will solve it you will have to give some time for it to solve it will show the progress here it is showing running once it shows here completed then this analysis will be complete now it is showing completed here click on cancel close close it then again scroll down right click on result open here is the result from solution 2 double click on the displacement here is the displacement of 0.048 mm and if we double click on the stress stress is 50 MPa that means it is suitable for 2000 Newton load also and if you want to view the result in two windows then for that you will have to click here on side by side then double click here again on the stress then select the window I want to show it in this window where it is showing the result so in this way you can compare the result also for different loads or you can compare the displacement also displacement and displacement here and if you want to create a reports for these two solutions then for that you will have to click here on reports create report then click on this simulation navigator and scroll down here are the report click on the plus before the report from here you can edit the different data double click on it suppose if you want to change the title double click on it and you can give the desired title same way you can change any data in it and if you want to place these images below the report for that right click on this image and click on this snapshot it will take the snapshot 
and same way if I want to show it for stress also or I want to show it in single window then from here click on this single window and I want to show it for stress click on this post processing navigator and double click on this stress then again go back to simulation navigator right click on the image and click on snapshot in this way you can take the images and to export the report scroll up and right click on this report and click on export give it some time for exporting and here it has created html file then you can go to any part of the report by clicking on it clicking on these titles and by clicking on these images you can watch the attached images in this way you can create the report that's all thanks for watching we will stop here